Bubble Beep. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Space Weather Update. My name is Alexis of Ascension Diaries, and this has been created in collaboration with the One Foot in 5D Space Force News that happens every Sunday night. It's a live stream, and afterwards, I like to go live around 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So we're working together to get this news out there. So what is it that I want to share with you this week? Well, thank you for asking. Let's go. So first, I want to share with you again my link tree, everything I talk about, and all my profiles and stuff are all in here so you can check and do your own research throughout the week. We have currently a first quarter moon in Scorpio. Next Sunday, when you see me again, it will be a full moon in Aquarius. The predictive model of what's coming out of the sun is showing us not a lot coming in our direction, but towards Mercury and Mars right now, curiously, but this could change any second. I've been watching the sun do emissions throughout this week. I would say the biggest ones were around the 14th and on the 12th. So we are, it's not too bad though. It's, it's not as much as usual, but there is potential that this week there could be more space weather as there are these opposite polarity points, which cause solar flares usually if they get super intense facing earth at this time. So we'll just keep our eyes on that this week. Currently though, I'd say that the the pressure and the wind speed is going up slightly, so that wind from those CMEs I think is hitting us, which makes sense to me. We are going to now just look at this model just to see right this second, because it's currently it's currently 3.21 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to see what the pressure's like. It's already actually cooling off since I saw it earlier, so we'll keep watching throughout tonight when I see you next. There was a there was a solar flare though on August 13th right into almost the 14th that hit a C class. So if you're feeling weird on that day, potentially was that solar flare. It's easier to keep up with it if you're tracking it throughout the week and on a daily basis or following my blog to see the changes as they happen because that's really when we sensate them or you sensate them right before they begin and it builds confidence in your own research. Um, my confidence is spiking right now to see that there is going to be some influxing space weather coming very soon because there is a lot of lightning going on. So I'm seeing that that stuff is kind of grounding, but there's more coming on its way. I have no evidence to show you. Well, I have a little bit, but not a lot of evidence to show you in the Russian information, the Russian extremely low frequency range. This is zero to 40 hertz behave behavior between zero and 40 hertz not too much to report on and the Italian as well are showing very very quiet at this moment in their extremely low frequency ranges that they measure this particular one is the most uh, the shortest viewpoint so it's 0 to 50 Hertz and you can see on the 12th for example there was an episode that happened but since then it's been fairly quiet so let's just keep our eyes open and please consider following my blog throughout the week on Instagram or ascensiondiaries.com or on my Patreon page and you'll get all the updates that you need. Otherwise, I will see you next week. It's been a pleasure as always. Goodbye.